It's all one. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect, the teachers were in all true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into a lesson on how pretty much how um, this so called 4th of July Independence Day, you know. Spiritually, it represents how America is going to be taken out, man. You know, you see this day is centered around uh, these so-called fireworks. You know, lighting up the night sky, so to speak. You know, by the way, these bombs, pretty much these rockets. You know, which that's within the uh, Star Star Spangled Banner. You know. Uh, the, the righteous red glare, bombs bursting in the air. But guess what? That's the fate of America, man, at the end of the day. And that's going to actually submit this man's downfall in our upcoming, man. This one, we're going to be officially re released from prison when our Lord Yahweh Shai make his return and uh, bring that reward, which for the elect is going to be deliverance. But everyone outside this, especially here in America, it's going to be destruction, man. So, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to start off with that in the book of Revelation. Because we actually anticipating this moment. You know, where Yahweh Bashman Al-Shai is going to destroy this place, man. You know? And the so-called, how fitting is that judgment? Because this is how this man was able to come up, you know, through uh, his war, through violence. How you think America became a superpower, the face of the earth, the police of the earth? You know, uh, through him dropping them bombs on them gooks, man. And that it was, you know, he's known for his airstrikes and shit. So how fitting he uh, uh, be moved out the way the same uh, way, man. Live by the three, die by it. This is um Revelation 18, verse 20. It said, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh Bashim Shai have avenged you on her, see? And that's the uh what we are uh, anticipating, you know, for the Lord to destroy America. That's what the hopeful elect is 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 uh anticipating that. These are the steps. These are the steps that that uh, has to take place before the kingdom of heaven is established. Oh, when you read Second Ezra, the fourth chapter, the evil of song, but the destruction there is not yet come. But it ultimately says that this place has to be pretty much rooted up for that which is song good can come. Man. So we, of course we're going to rejoice, especially uh, the the affliction we had to deal with. You know, just the, the abominations, the abominable things, the vets day to day the filthy conversation of the wicked from you seeing a, a homo walking down the street to they uh to what they put on on the media we uh, uh yearning for the, the lord to destroy this place it says an almighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. See, and that's justice, man, at the end of the day. Because this is how this man came into power. Through violence. You look at the so-called man, man, his track record, you know, his uniform. Matter of fact, it tells you that he violence covered them. That's his uniform. You know? Let's get that real quick in the book of Psalms. How fitting. See, it, it is, uh, I don't know if you can hear if it's loud enough. You know, you got niggas that's more uh, <clears throat> in tune with this so-called holiday than these Edomites. You know, these Edomites is worried about the economic uh, structure of America. Uh, you know, the inflation, the plethora of other things concerning their nation. 
and them stand on top while niggas just want to crank the grill up, which he nigga probably had the grill on for the last five days. You know, uh, Jake called off that Friday, that Thursday, that Friday, because they know they was going to be off that Monday. And nigga had the grill on, you know, lit since Thursday, man. And they and they feel like they independent. Nigga got a fit. You know? But they're going to realize, you know, reality's going to set in very soon for them, man. You know? <clears throat> but how fit is that judgment? That this place is going to go out the same way, man. Song 73, and I started, uh, I started, I started at five, I get to the point, it says, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men, and that was the so-called white man, you know, because he wasn't, he, this is his rulership, he don't have the problems as, uh, you know, the problems of Jake, pretty much, because that's what it's really talking about, this man don't deal with certain things that dealing with, that Jake got to deal with. You know, because this is their time to rule. This is their rulership. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. See, and that, that's this man. And his that's his makeup. He's built. He's built to be proud. He can't help. But he's bound by pride. It says, violence covereth them as a garment. See, and that's this man. Mo, violence. That's his blessing. The sword. You know. That's his blessing. So that's what he's gonna go by. That's what he's known as the killers or the, those uh, murderers. Oh, the screens talk about you know, uh, the, you know Ethan bringing their children to the murderers. That's that's one of the the, 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 the titles of Esau, man. The sword. When you just um, you read the scriptures, it talks about the sword, the, the sword of the Lord, Esau, man. So that's his name. You look at this man, his track record, his history, his inventions. You know. It's all violence. You know, these, this technology this man have given to just the regular people, the common folks, it's old military uh, gear, man. So on all levels, this is the violent man. You know, but that's his, you know, that's why how fitting would it be that the Lord overthrow him in the same way through violence. Matter of fact, let's get this in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27. It reads, Whoso dig of a pit, Shall fall therein. See, and that's what's gonna happen really to these elites. You know, they're trying to dig that pit that you know uh to keep us in further derision. You know, which this man is doing that now by the way of trying to bring forth this new world order to keep the people in, in a in a perpetual state of, of uh you know lowlessness and, and uh I forgot the sick nigga that said these people gonna own nothing and be happy. That's that pit. But guess what? He gonna end up falling in it because in the world to come, which is soon, you know, because we can tell by these series of events that's taking place in the world to come, they're gonna be in the pit. They're gonna be the slaves. And guess what? We already got the first occupation. They're gonna be burying bodies. Thus said the scriptures. If you read the book of Ezekiel, I believe the, the 38th or the 39th chapter, I believe. You know, but you're gonna fall, and that's justice. You know, you try to trip me up, but you end up uh, experiencing that trap, that snare. That's justice, man. It says, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. And that's what he have done. You know, he's known for these airstrikes. He, he ain't the eagle for nothing, you know. And he got these different airstrikes, but. Uh, you know, concerning of that, that bomb, which that was an atomic bomb, which now the Lord has sharpened that sword, and it has, it has become more efficient. Now it's a, uh, these hypersonic missiles now, to where you got to entertain that this place can be destroyed in an hour now. You know, these you have these different uh, hypersonic missiles that can come to the West pretty much under 30 minutes, man. You know? So that stone is going to return upon you. And that shows that that's an aerial attack. You know? See, this is the real fireworks show. America want to talk about fireworks. And, you know, this is the real fireworks show. When the Lord, Yahweh, by now, shall destroy America, man. 
And that's going to be a beautiful sight. See, this going. This is the lake of fire. We we actually, this place right here. This is the lake of fire, America, man. You know, and we're going to see it manifest by the way of World War Three. So this is the real fireworks show. So matter of fact, uh, since I said concerning the Lord destroying America, let's get this because it said it come down upon him, return upon him. This is going to be from on high. Literally and uh, figuratively, because this is how by Shemal Shad is doing this. But the judgment is going to literally come from on high by the way of those missiles, man. This is the book of Isaiah 34. And you know what? I started uh, verse 4. It says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. See? And that's the... Uh, that's Isaiah describing the mushroom clouds. That's the results, man. You know? It says, it says, and, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falling from off the vine, as the fallen feed from the feed tree. See, because this ultimately going to submit the downfall of this devil, man, and the rest of these heathen nations. Because the Alleluia outside is going to return with fire with the, from the chariots as well, man. You know? That's that's that, that's part of the world. Just like how you this devil got certain fire, you got black cats, you got Roman candles, and well, guess what? The Lord got these different type of missiles, these 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 laser beams. But the result is what America totally destroyed, man. It says, "For my sword shall be bathed in heaven." See, because these 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 missiles gonna cover the skies, man. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. See, Idumia, which is uh, Greek for Edom. And where is their headquarters of Edom today? America. This is the headquarters, the throne of the so-called white man. For whatever banner they come under from Russia to uh, Swedish to Germany. <clears throat> when you think about the so-called white man, what country comes to mind? America. Cause this is this is uh his throne right here, man. That woman that rides that beast. Even though you have these other, you have the, such as Russia to be a known uh, enemy to America, but still, overall, so-called white man, Esau, even himself, his throne is America, Babylon the Great. So this is what the Lord is gonna show. Uh, his power at, man. This is the venue, the Lord, that place. When you're going back to say the fourth chapter, that place where the evil that was sown, that's talking about America. But that's where that destruction is going to take place, man. You know? And this is, like, just going back. This is just, this is true, just here. A nigga think he, he free now. That's not the case. Because guess what? That bill coming or it came. Or you getting a notice that you gotta pay that other half, that alarm clock, or you just having a damn social security card shows that we are still in captivity, man. You know? But at the end of the day, the Lord, Yahweh by smell shine is gonna come and uh, deliver us from that. And we finna see what true justice is. See, it's not finna be a diplomatic transition or it's a whole bunch of signatures. Now we ruling. No, man. This is going to be a violent transition. You know. But, it, but it's going to be fitting. Very fitting, man. Psalms 58 verse 10. It says the righteous. Matter of fact, let me jump up. Let me jump up. And, I'm, and I skip back down to it. This is on Psalms 58. And, um. I'll start at verse 6. It says, Break their teeth, O, o Yahweh, by Shemal Shai, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. And this concerning the Lord breaking down the so-called white man, his military, man. The teeth of the young lions. They're talking about this devil, you know, and his military might, man. Oh, that's why it tells you concerning that fourth beast that Daniel saw. Well, one of the characteristics that stood out with this, this damn beast was he had great iron teeth, man. 
So this man, his military might is unmatched, you know, with these previous kingdoms, man. Especially now, uh, you got just the just the guns itself. You got guns that actually shoot projectile projectiles. You know, back then they had the bow and arrow, but now it's you had the it's more efficient. You know, you got automatic, semi-automatic. Then it's a step up to the to the, uh, these different rifles. Then you know. They could be so many miles away to these different rocket launchers, the military vehicles, the the uh, you know from the aircraft to the damn to the naval ships, this man his mechanical dolls and shit, you know, and a plethora of other things. All we up to the missiles, man. That's why he's that. That's that great teeth. Oh, that's why I tell you also in um, um, uh, what is in, in Revelation the sixth chapter he was given a great sword. But at the end of the day, the Lord is going to break it. Because ultimately, that was a curse unto him. See, Esau thought that, you know, when Isaac, that was our Lord, Yahweh Shai, gave him, you know, the earth, but also the sword, man. So that was going to submit him uh, being counted out too as well, man. That was going to be a curse unto him. That's why Lord Yahweh Shai said, told Peter, you know, for those that take the sword, shall perish with it, man. You know? So that's this man's fate. The Lord is gonna take this man out. And as you can see, it's gonna be by the, it's gonna be through war as well. Like, you know, it's gonna be through war. So the Lord is gonna break this the teeth of the young lion. It says, let them melt away as waters which run continually. See? It said they're gonna melt away because that's 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 the lake of fire. It tells the element is gonna melt with fervent heat. It's gonna actually look like a sea of fire, man. It's gonna that's gonna be a heavenly heat the Lord is gonna bring. It says when he bendeth his bow, see that shows you that's what's gonna cause that melting away, the bow that's being shot. It says when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. See, and that's what's gonna break them down. That's what's gonna <clears throat> they already been um the very pillar that's upholding this man is being broken, you know. But this is what's going to actually cement his downfall, that destruction, man. You know, just like how this nigga tried to boast and see this is how he came. He, this is the day he declared his independence, you know. And this is this is your form of celebrating by shooting firecrackers, really these like missiles and shit, you know. Well, that's really your fate. That's the fate of America, to go out in this same fast. That's why I say it's going to pass away with a great noise. Those that are delivered from the noise of archers. That's talking about uh, the elect being delivered from the destruction of America by the way of World War Three. Let me jump down. Because going back, like I said, this is this is justice right here, though, man. Verse 10, Psalms 58 and 10 says, The righteous shall rejoice when he sealed the vengeance. See? Because that's when we're going to be, uh, like I said, that's when the Lord is going to release us from his captivity. That great earthquake, <clears throat> you know. Oh, that's the spirit because um, Paul and Silas were locked up. That earthquake shook, you know, shook and it broke the chains off of them. But that's once again going to happen in the spirit, you know, on a bigger scale. You know, when the Lord come and bring forth that destruction, we're going to be released. From this prison, from our bodies, as well as America, man. You know? So it says, the righteous shall rejoice when he sealed the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So we're going to rejoice when we see the destruction of this place. It says, so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. And yeah, we're going to. Praise y'all by some y'all shot. And, and we saying that we saying that now the Lord is a is a power that judge on the earth. We seen the Lord is beating down a so-called white man with plagues, man. And them lists are getting hard. From you hearing about recalls to the now is you hearing about the warehouse itself being burnt now. You know. And it's only going and that's just scratching the surface, it's only going to intensify, but ultimately the result is the Lord destroying this place. And this, that's going to be the real fireworks show. That's going to be the real going out with a bang. That sand. See, we finna see that in this profession, by the way, of America being taken out, man. 
you know, with a bang. They said that it's going to pass away with a great noise. You know, this is going to be a we in a very monumental moment. So, yeah, I can imagine hope that we edify and to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. I like to give the honors to the apostles and others of great millstone. Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA of God the Father. Soon. Very soon.